Hello everyone, this is Jack Frost with your daily update for the Ethereum Technicals and Solana. Well, the Ethereum Technicals price has broken below prior support, now resistance at 2400 after previously consolidating within support at 2400 and resistance at 2720. Volume for the short term supports upwards movement with the strongest volume on these bullish candlesticks just here, though for the midterm, this push from volume on the most recent low where price found support at 2100 could indicate that the low may be sustained, as I have mentioned in previous videos, though it is also possible that this push from volume has occurred within the middle of a downward swing or downwards movement. And so we do have to wait for bullish or bearish confirmation to see whether this low may be sustained, and at this point we still do not have that confirmation. ADX continues to increase with an extreme bearish trend that is not yet in danger of ending. On balance volume has fallen just short of resistance at prior support, currently it only has this new support line here. RSI is neutral and overall increasing, having entered oversold where price found its previous low. Money flow declining for the short term, overall increasing after its last low just here. And ATR declines as price overall moves sideways, previously increasing along with price, giving a bullish outlook for volatility. As this trend indicated by ADX is extreme, it may continue to where ADX may reach very extreme conditions while RSI and money flow may enter oversold and or exhibit some divergence. However, with the recent push from volume at the last low and the model with ADX and RSI, as I have previously mentioned, while RSI enters oversold, ADX then reaches extreme and the trend soon ends. It is possible that that pattern may continue here Though it is also possible that price could continue lower, as previously mentioned, we will require bullish or bearish confirmation to see whether the low may be sustained, though the trend indicated by ADX at this time frame suggests price will move lower. On the daily chart for Solana, this wave count sees primary wave 4 complete at this last low here, with price to now overall increase for primary wave 5 and the end of cycle wave 3. Cycle wave 3 has a target calculated at 2887, which is the 11.09 extreme Fibonacci ratio between that and cycle wave 1. For the short term, a break above this Elliott channel with a full green candlestick above and not touching the Elliott channel drawn around primary wave 4. That would add confidence to this wave count seeing upwards movement to continue. And an additional high above 193.6182 would add further confidence to this wave count as it is this last high here. That would break the pattern of lower lows and lower highs. And additionally, that is the invalidation for the alternate, which I will get to in a minute. Within primary wave 5, any second wave corrective movement cannot move below its start at 111.4255. And on this daily alternate chart for Solana, this wave count sees primary wave 4 incomplete to continue a little bit lower, with a target range calculated for minor and intermediate degree movements between 95 and 84. 95.3167 is the 1.618 logarithmic Fibonacci ratio of minor wave A, which is our target for minor wave C. And below that, 84.7439 is the 1.618 logarithmic Fibonacci ratio of intermediate wave W, giving us that target for intermediate wave Y. This gives a range for where these waves may be labeled complete. A low below 111.4255 would add confidence to this wave count as it is the invalidation for the main wave count as previously shown. And as primary wave 4 continues lower, it cannot move into primary wave 1 price territory at 26.4105. Though as price continues lower, this best fit channel drawn around primary wave 4 may provide support for the end of these waves. And additionally, if price continues upwards, then minute wave 2 cannot move above the start of minute wave 1 at 193.6182. Though if it does continue higher, it may find resistance at the upper edge of the best fit channel. On the technical daily chart for Solana, price has declined after finding resistance at 157, currently finding support at 127. On the technical chart, an additional high above 193.6182 would add confidence to the bullish movements, as it would break the pattern of lower lows and lower highs, moving above this high just here. Volume supports upwards movement at this point with the strongest volume on the bullish candlesticks and a push on these recent bullish candlesticks as well. Additional weakness in the bearish candlesticks neighboring this recent bullish candlestick give additional confidence for the upwards movement at this time frame and a little bit of concern for the downwards movement for the short term. ADX continues to increase with a bearish trend that is not yet extreme and not in danger of ending. RSI is neutral and overall increasing with a little bit of bullish divergence, as I've mentioned in the previous video, where RSI makes higher points and price closed lower. Money flow overall increasing, declining quite sharply for the very short term. Overall Money flow and RSI have quite a bit of room to move before they may enter overbought and a little bit of room before they may enter oversold. ATR declines as price consolidates, giving an overall bullish outlook for volatility. And as this trend indicated by ADX is not yet extreme, it does expect price to continue lower. 
to where ADX may reach extreme or very extreme conditions, while RSI and money flow may enter oversold and or exhibit some divergence. That's all for me with your daily update for Solana and the Ethereum technicals. As always, if you want the Ethereum Elliott Wave count, you can sign up for that at pureelliottwave.com. Thank you, and I hope everyone has a good day.